Handler in two, Skinner in three, Jean Paul in four, Nambala in five, Smith, the champion, in six, Athmani in seven, watch out for him, Minira Ponza in eight from Colombia, and Paris of Australia in lane nine. Ten point four six that world and Paralympic record for Jason Smith. Kashafali, who runs in the T12 category. And we'll be seeing a little later in his final. Leveled that mark in his heat for the 100 metres men's T12. So shared as the fastest Paralympian with that man. This the least of the visual impairment categories. And they get away, and Smith got away really quickly indeed. And also did John Paul of the United States. But it's Smith out in front. He's being chased by the Algerian Athmani. But Smith gets there on the line just. Well, Smith has held off Athmani, who for another five metres or so, I think Athmani may well have got to him. But a season best for Jason Smith in 10.53. He makes it four Paralympic titles in a row. He's won by one one hundredth of a second. A new African record that he broke earlier in the day. Colombia has also broken the area record and picked up the bronze. Well, one one hundredth of a second, that's all you need. And Jason Smith has picked up a fourth successive Paralympic title. 10.53, the ratified and confirmed time. You just feel that if there was another five metres, well, he may well have been overtaken. His start is what got him there. It was absolutely incredible. Just watch that. He was out quickest of everyone. And when you look at the race overall, well, that's where Smith won it. Jean-Paul looked great there in that first 50 metres. He fell away. Athmani was pushing towards the line. He almost got there with the dip. But Smith did it. Athmani in second. Look at the teeth gritting together, trying to get him across the line for both of them. And Mina Ponza picks up a bronze medal for Colombia. Well, there was conjecture about what would happen with Athmani, the Algerian. He's so quick. And whether Smith could hold on to that title, he did just that. And he makes it a fourth successive one. He may be getting on compared to the rest of the field, but he can still run. The man from Derry in the Republic of Ireland. Well, that there is a very fast start indeed. Athmani was looking strong as well. He's running able-bodied events before. He was part of the 4x100 Algerian team who held the African record back in 2014. But he couldn't quite get there at the end. Smith looked across to the right. I think he realised he was being caught. His classification changed from T13 to T12 and back again during his career. 